In this quick tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make an animated rain effect in After Effects. Alright, so let's get started. So I'm going to make a solid. And the color doesn't matter, so I'm just going to leave it on default. And then next I'm going to go over and I'm going to search for an effect called CC Particle System. So it should come up right there. I'm just going to drag it onto my solid. Okay, so you get the default effect here, which is this particle emitter for these sort of sparky lines. So first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag up the actual emitter. So it's above the actual composition window here. So all of the lines are raining down from an emitter, which you can't see. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically just open up all of these drop down menus so I can edit this quite a lot. Okay, so first things first, I like to change the colors, so I'm just going to change the birth color, which is the color at which the effect particle looks when it's first been emitted, just to white. And then the death color, which is when the actual particle fades out, I'm just going to change that to white, but I quite like to make it a little bit darker than the uh, original birth color, just to give it a bit more of a depth. Alright great, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the animation from explosion to direction and this just gives it more of a rain feel rather than it just exploding out everywhere. And so what I want to do here is I want to change the birth rate to um, quite low about 1.1 because I don't want a massive monsoon, I want a sort of medium amount of rain here. And then longevity which is how long each particle stays alive before it fades away. Uh, I'm just going to put that slightly less to about 1.6, so you'll see a little bit of fading there, but it won't be massive. Okay, so the main thing which I'm going to change here is I'm going to change the velocity. Uh, I'm going to bump that up to about 1.2, and you'll see that kind of makes the effect a bit wider, and it sort of covers the screen more, because before it was sort of jetted down in a sort of central column, now it's kind of spread out more. So if I do a quick RAM preview, you can see that it's given it more of a natural rain effect than before. Okay, so we're almost done. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the actual max opacity. I'm going to put this down to about 40, so it's a bit more subtle of an effect. As you can see here, this is a bit more like rain, really, because I suppose, in a way, rain itself is quite transparent because it is just water droplets. So I don't want it to be a massive sort of white effect here. I want it to be a bit more subtle. In fact, you can even put that down to lower than 40, maybe about 30. It just depends what you want for your scene. So I'd recommend the opacity fairly low so it creates a more subtle rain effect. Okay, so we're pretty much done with this effect. The only thing I'm going to do now is I'm just going to change the way the actual effect starts because as you can see here, it starts with the effect slowly starting and then going up to speed. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this bar so it actually starts mid-flow so the effect starts straight away rather than you having to wait for it to start dropping and then starting to flow. Okay, so there we go. I hope you found this tutorial useful and as always, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please subscribe.